classic Caillou, we have to go to the hospital. Your mom is going to have a new baby. What? A new baby? You kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. You're gonna be an older brother. Now come on, let's go to the hospital now. How do you know she's going to have another baby? I thought she went to the hospital because she had the flu. No, it's not the flu. She's literally pregnant. Didn't you see she had a big tummy recently? Now please get up and come with me to the hospital. Please don't waste our time. You should be mature now. You're gonna be a big brother. No, I am not going to the hospital. I don't care if mom is gonna have another baby. I don't want siblings. I wanna be the only child in this family. And please get lost. I'm trying to watch Spongebob. Classic Caillou I'm getting fed up with you. Get out of the couch now or I'm gonna smash that TV with your bald head. I'm warning you. Fine whatever you say. You dumb green hood idiot. You're gonna have to pay back the Spongebob episodes. I've missed them again. You can watch back those episodes again. You're watching on Netflix anyway. Now please get out of there and go to my car. We're going to the hospital. Dad, it's so hot here. Turn on the freaking air conditioner. It's like 100 degrees today. The AC is on already. It's just this car is old. I have to buy a new car soon. You should have bought a new car a long time ago. It's 2015 already and you're still driving an old stupid retarded slow ass car from the early 2000s. Wow, you must be a huge cheapskate. My dad still drives a 2001 Toyota Corolla. What a dumb idiotic cheapskate you are. You better shut your filthy dirty annoying mouth there or I'll drag you to the front seat and slap your bald shiny head. I'm not playing with you. I'm getting super super boiled with you. So please, please quiet down back there and let me drive in peace. I don't want to cause an accident and kill the both of us and then your younger sibling doesn't have an older sibling and a father. That's gonna be super sad. So please behave yourself back there. Fine whatever. I'm gonna shut my mouth. Now please drive the car. I'm gonna play some music. Let's listen to some Coldplay music. I particularly like this song by Coldplay called The Scientist. It's a very good song. It comforts me when I drive. No, I don't want to listen to that stupid British band. I'm not a gay millennial. I want to listen to Watch Me by Salento. Now watch me whip, now watch me nee nee. Watch me whip whip, watch me nee nee. Ooh watch me, watch me, ooh watch me, watch me. Shut your goddamn ass back there now you annoying dumb retarded little brat. You're distracting me from driving with your stupid idiotic song. Now sit down and stop dancing. Your dancing is bad and stupid anyway. You bald retarded hairless weirdo. And don't you dare insult Coldplay. Coldplay produces much better songs with meaningful messages than those retarded trending music that you like. Songs are just getting dumber and dumber nowadays. They have no meaningful message. They're just making kids now more idiotic and rude. No wonder why kids around your age gap are so stupid and always easily get grounded. Shame on your generation. And shame on your stupid generation. You're like turning 30 next month. You're becoming an idiotic old sack. You should be ashamed of yourself that you're old and cannot enjoy a young life anymore. Ha 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 ha. My dad is becoming an old sack. He's getting more and more stupid. He's disgusting and he has the most hideous haircut in the whole world. He's going to die of heart failure soon because he always gets super mad. My dad is a big dumb old sack. What the hell dad? You made me bump my head onto the seat. My head hurts a bit. Screw you dad. If you continue to misbehave back there, I swear I'm gonna hurt you more and throw you out of the car while I'm driving over 100 miles per hour. You got it. Behave yourself. This is your final warning. And don't you say screw you to me. You know that I'm gonna punish you so badly if you cuss at me. Now please, please shut your annoying dirty mouth and let me drive to the hospital in peace. So that we don't waste time and we can arrive there happily and safe. And meet your younger sibling. Please behave yourself. Please. I don't wanna get super mad at you. This is a special day today. Well you pissed me off first. So this is why I'm pissed and freaked out. Anyway just drive the car. I don't want to continue to argue with you and waste time. You're right, we shouldn't waste time. We have to go to the hospital ASAP. Uh. Dad, I'm so thirsty. I want to drink something. 
Can we go to the 7-Eleven over there and buy a cold refreshing Coca-Cola? No Caillou, we have to visit mom now. We can't be wasting more time to buy stupid Coca-Cola. We've wasted a lot of time already on the way here. Also there are vending machines in the hospital, you can buy some drinks there. But the drinks in the hospital taste like spoiled medicine. I don't want to drink their crap. For Christ's sake classic Caillou, are you going to complain more and waste time? Please stop making me mad. You nearly gave me an explosive heart attack like five times already today. So please, please stop pissing me off and let's get the fuck out of the car and go inside the hospital. I'm here to visit my wife, Doris Anderson. Okay. Sit down on the chair over there. A nurse will call you later. Okay, thanks. Oh wow. This magazine has some really cool pictures of Pokemon characters. I want to keep them. I'm gonna tear this page. Classic Caillou, you do not tear the page of the magazine. It is not our property. We may get sued by the hospital for breaking their stuff. Now please stop flipping those magazines and put them back where you got them. I don't want you to break their things. No, I am not putting them back. I'm gonna tear this page of the magazine because I want those cool Pokemon pictures. I freaking want them. You bald fuckhead, if you tear that page, I'm gonna tear your uncircumcised wiener with my index finger, got it? Please behave yourself here, you're in a public place right now. I don't want you to embarrass us in front of everybody here. Someone might take a video of us and put it on the internet, getting million of views and it will affect my job. So please behave yourself here. Boris Anderson, please follow me. Okay classic Caillou, it's time to visit mommy now. Oh hi honey. Hey, I'm very excited for the baby. Do you think it will be a boy or a girl? Well we already have a boy. I'm hoping it's a girl. Oh classic Kalau, you're here too. Classic Caillou, say hi to your mom. Hey mommy. Classic Kalau, you're gonna be an older sibling soon. I'm praying that you will be a very good boy and you will show your younger sibling that you're a very caring, sweet and kind young boy. I pray that you will educate your younger sibling. I pray that you will be very caring for your younger sibling. Be a good boy. Classic Kalau. Uh. I will. That's very good then. Uh. I feel like the baby's coming out. Please call the nurses now. I need someone now. I need nurses. Baby's coming out. My wife's about to give birth. Okay. I'm gonna bring her to the operation room now. Hi. My name is Dr. Drake. Your dad has asked me to watch over you while he was in the C-section operating room to be with your mom. You're gonna be an older brother. I'm sure you're gonna be very kind to your younger sibling. I can see you're a very good boy. At least you behave well in my office. Most of the kids I've watched over always misbehave and break my stuff. But you, you're a very well behaved boy. Your parents must be very proud of you. Dr. Drake? Like Drake the Rapper? Ha 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 ha. No 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 no. Not Drake the Rapper. I'm a doctor. I'm Dr. Drake. My name is just so happened to be the same as the rapper. Anyway, how old are you? I'm five years old. I'm in the last year of preschool. I'm going to be in elementary next year. That's great. You look smart and mature for a five-year-old too. By the way, I'd like to know where you purchased those magazines. Those magazines? I don't really know. The hospital bought them. Well you can actually see where the publishing company's from in the magazine. There you go. The magazines are from the Fairland Post. Oh nice. These magazines have some really cool pictures of Pokemon characters. Can I have them? I'm afraid I can't. Our policy says that people cannot take the magazines away. I'm very sorry. But I freaking want those Pokemon pictures. They're so freaking cool. I want to keep them. Can I please have that one particular page please? I'm not taking the whole magazine away. But you know our policy prohibits people from taking stuff from the hospital. Also you cannot tear the magazine page. That will be counted as vandalism. You can get a misdemeanor charge from doing that. I don't care. I want that magazine page. Page 3 to be exact. I just want that page. 
I want those Pokemon pictures. But didn't you hear what I've just said? The policy prohibits us from doing that. I thought you were a well-behaved kid. Didn't know you would act like that. Your behavior right now is worse than the kids that have been to my office. You think I give a fuck about your stupid hospital policy? Look at my face. I don't give a shit about your hospital policy. I don't care if you lose your dumb job, you're not even really a doctor anyway. Doctors won't have time to watch over kids. So can you just tear that magazine page from me? Now. I'm losing my fucking patience. Ooh. Wow, how bad are you? You cussed at me. You're like five years old and you talk like a low-life scumbag from the ghetto. You must have a terrible family. I feel bad for your younger sibling. The fuck you just said? I'm gonna fuck you up real hard that you no longer have that mustache. You weird looking hobo. You're a fake doctor. You're probably some junkie from downtown who pretends to be a doctor. Get a life you swipe. How dare you said that? That's it, I'm gonna call your dad. You're the most naughtiest kid I've ever met. I can't believe a five year old can swear like that. You dare call my dad I'm gonna shove this needle up your ugly nose. Now, give me that magazine page with Pokemon. Okay 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 okay. Please don't shove that needle up my nose. That's gonna be very painful. I'm gonna tear that magazine page and give it to you. Just please don't hurt me. Be fucking quick. I'm gonna stab you with this needle. Okay okay okay. I'm going fast now. Here you go. Please don't hurt me. What the fuck is this? You didn't tear it properly. You left out Pikachu. That's like the most important and iconic character in Pokemon and you dare left it out. I'm sorry. I'm not really familiar with Pokemon. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. You know what? Take this piece of paper and shove it up your ass you mustache prick. I'm getting out of here. Okay, your mom has finally gave birth to a child. You're officially an older brother now. Can you guess whether you have a younger brother? Um, I guess. I guess a younger brother? No classic Caillou, you will have a younger sister. Oh wow. A younger sister. Have you thought what name should we name her? Not yet. We're still thinking. But mom wants to name her Rosie. You have any other suggestions? I have one. We should name her Vagina. Vagina, 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 Vagina. Ooh, ooh, ooh. classic Caillou, you have a really dirty mind. Where did you learn that word? Don't you dare name your sister with such an inappropriate name. You want her to get laughed at? But dad, it's Vagina, not Vagina. You must have a terrible ear. It's va g -na. That name has a very similar pronunciation as vagina. And please don't say I have terrible ears. Classic Caillou, if you dare to mess around again one more time, I'm gonna ground you immediately. Got it? Anyway let's see the baby and mom. Oh look at that little baby. What a lovely girl. Yes indeed. So have we decided what to name her? How about Rosie? Your suggested name. Rosie is a beautiful name. Absolutely. We should definitely name her Rosie. Oh hi little Rosie Rosie. I'm daddy. Your daddy is saying hi to you, Rosie. Classic Caillou, say hello to little sister. Oh hello there, Vagina. Um, her name is Rosie, not Vagina. What's the matter with you? I told you not to name her that inappropriate name. That's it, you're coming with me outside. I'm sorry honey, I'm gonna have a little chat with Caillou outside. We'll be back soon. Classic Caillou, how many times I have to scold you for your bad behavior. You should behave yourself when you're in a public place. And how many times I've told you not to name your little sister such inappropriate name. Huh? I don't want to yell at you here but you made me do it. Now everyone is looking at us. It's all your fault. I disagree. I don't think it's my fault. You're the one who gets angry all the time and yell at me. You're the one who's causing a scene here. You just don't admit that. You green hoodie jack off. I swear Caillou if you talk back to me one more time I'm gonna punch you right up your nose so hard that your whole face is covered with blood. 
I swear. Hey, you're that bald kid's father, right? Yes, I am. What is the matter? That bald knucklehead is so rude and naughty. He misbehaved in my office when you were in the operating room with your wife. He cussed at me. He said the F word multiple times. Also, he wanted to tear one of the magazine page where it does Pokemon pictures. I told him that he cannot tear the magazine pages. But he acted like a psycho and threatened to shove a needle up my nose. I was frightened because I had fear of needles. So I teared the magazine page for him. He then said he didn't like it and threw the paper right at my nose. My nose hurts after he throws the paper. I can't believe a five-year-old will act like a psychopath. That kid is going to be Patrick Bateman from the movie American Psycho in the future. He's already like Trevor Phillips from Grand Theft Auto 5 now. I can't believe that guy until kid exists. I'm sorry that my son did such a thing to you and misbehaved in your office. I'm terribly sorry. I will punish him. Damn! I really wish you would fucking stab his bald shiny head with the most sharpest needle in the whole damn world. I really wish you would use that needle and stab the hell out of his bald head until it bleeds liquid from brain. He deserves that. And as a doctor, I will not heal him. I'll just let him die with the most painful death of all time, rolling around the bed like a stupid motherfucker. I really wish that too. Anyway I'm gonna punish him. Again, I'm sorry for what my son did to you. We should have coffee sometimes. Haha. <laughs> yeah for sure. Anyway I'm not gonna bother with you anymore. Have fun punishing your bald son. Oh 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 Caillou, you bald fucking potato. I can't believe you misbehaved at the doctor's office and you have the guts to swear at the doctor and threaten to shove a needle up his nose. You're literally a future serial killer. I'm afraid of you. And you know what psychopaths deserve? Getting grounded. That's it. You're so grounded grounded grounded. You're grounded for 356-7282792827293727 centuries. During your grounding times, you cannot watch TV, you cannot play your tablets and your phone, you cannot eat Chuck E. Cheese and McDonald's, and most of all, you cannot jerk off. Wow 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 wow.